Like we mentioned last week, the, the season of Advent is the, the time where we celebrate Jesus coming and look forward to his coming again. In a way, it's looking back to the past and looking ahead to the future. In the past, we see this amazing impact that God made when he entered history. He, he sent his son to live among us, to humble himself, to take on human flesh so that he could be our substitute, so that he could offer his life as a sacrifice for the sins of the whole world and accomplish our salvation. Uh, it had amazing impact on, on everything. It's the whole of the gospel. Also, during Advent, we look forward to the future when Jesus, who gave himself for us, will come back to judge the living and the dead. And, and all who believe in him will be taken to be with Jesus forever in heaven. Those two aspects of Advent, the past and the future, have an incredible impact on us right now. What happened in the past and what Jesus did for us in the past by entering into history has changed everything for us. It's given us hope and it has given us a future. If that was not accomplished in the past, we would not have a, a future. We would not have a hope. We would not have peace with God, but, but Jesus accomplished that by coming to earth and by promising that he will come again to judge the living and the dead, by promising that all who believe in him will be taken to be with him in heaven, that, that gives us something in the here and now as well. It gives us peace and, and it gives us hope for the future. Peace, knowing that no matter what happens in the future, we know how everything will end. We know where we will be when we die one day and that gives us a hope that extends beyond this life. Along with all other kind, all these other kinds of blessings, like the joy of forgiveness, like the, the, the knowledge of the peace between God and man, like, like a sense of security, uh, countless blessings that, that God gives us, knowing that our future is secured in him. So, so the past is the past, and it, it certainly affects the present. The future is the future, and it certainly affects the present as well. But what about the here and now? Is Advent just about looking back and looking forward? Well, no, there are, are real things that God gives us in the here and now to, to bless us and to give us his blessings. And those things would be how God comes to us in the present. In the past, he came to us in the form of a humble uh, little baby from born of the Virgin Mary. In the future, he will come to us as the, the God who has ascended to his throne, who will come on the clouds to judge, to judge the living and the dead. But in the present, God comes to us through where he has promised, his word, the gospel, and the sacraments, baptism, and the Lord's Supper. He comes to us in the gospel and promises that his Holy Spirit will work through that gospel. He comes to us in baptism and says the Holy Spirit works through baptism and creates faith in our hearts and that our bodies become temples of the Holy Spirit when we are baptized, that we are forgiven. He comes to us in the Lord's Supper when he says that, that this is his body and this is his blood, that when you take of the Lord's Supper, you are taking really his body, his body and his blood for the forgiveness of, of sins. So, in the present... You have all of these blessings offered to you. Advent isn't just about looking back and looking forward. It's about all of the blessings God gives you in the here and now. Some of those blessings were accomplished in the past. Some of those blessings lay ahead of you in the future. But God gives you real things right now in his word, in baptism, in the Lord's Supper. So cherish those means of grace that God has given to you and partake of them whenever you possibly can. God bless you as you prepare your heart this Advent season, um, looking back on the past, looking ahead to the future, and enjoying the present blessings that God gives you now.